Welcome or welcome back to Red Static Reacts. I'm Jeremy. I'm Max. And today we are watching episode three of season two of Better Call Saul. Jimmy fabricated evidence. The weirdest evidence ever fabricated. Bad Jimmy. But apparently, according to the commenters, that video yeah. actually exists. And I'm not sure if I want to watch it. At least three or four of you out there put in the links and said, here you go. Thank y'all very much. Yeah. If you're dying for us to watch that, <laughs> let us know. I can take it or leave it. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's about where I'm at. But thank y'all anyway. Yeah. Chuck had to make his presence known. He came to bear witness, as he put it. Yeah. Uh, uh. I've, I've never switched gears on a character so quick. To me, that was like, I, I just want to see my own flesh and blood go down in a ball of fire. Basically, that's what he was saying. Look, I know Jimmy's not perfect, but where's the love here? Where's the bonding? Where's the where's the Chuck that has seen Jimmy do for you for over a year? Anyway, enough of that. And Kim, yeah, like you said, everybody needs a Kim. Yeah, she's a keeper. You know, telling Jimmy, trying to explain to him, don't blow this, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of concerning that he even needed that explained to him, being a lawyer and all. I don't know, man. I, I don't either. Any, anyway, it is what it is. The writers, the writers have done a great job with the characters, and the actors are doing a great job with the characters. Now I like Howard, and I hate Chuck. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's like Breaking Bad, where I, I don't think there is necessarily one correct way to feel about a character. Uh, well, I'm ready to get into this one. If, uh, if you could like, comment, and if you are new here, subscribe. We would appreciate it. Please do. And uh, let's get into it. All right. All right. Look at me with those stars in your eyes. He's in our home state. Yeah. My name's Jimmy. I tried to visit you at Sandpiper, but they wouldn't allow me to. Hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. I saw your bus broken down. Got it worked out, does he? Yeah. He followed him across state lines so he could do this. Looks that way. Well, ma'am, I'm here to make sure you get your money back. W what are you talking about? Who took Alma May's money? Getting himself some new clients, huh? Oh, yeah. The Sandpiper people, you know, put on a ski mask and uh, mugged Alma May here at gunpoint. So I want you to put that mental image right out of your head. Too late, man. It's already out there. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. And nothing makes me sadder than to see people of the greatest generation. People like my own Nana and Bobo. This feels like one of his commercials. It does, doesn't it? It's just easier if you get your nephew Steve to go take care of it for you. And that's how I want you to think of me. Like part of the family. He's good. Yeah, he is. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lunch. Alma May, you did it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. The whole bus load's on board. I'm going to save you from having to brag. Over 200 new Sandpiper clients signed over the past three weeks. Well done, Jimmy. Thank you. 200. Wow. Excellent. Look forward to the next report. On to a stickier wicket. Coordinating actions. Well, sorry. Yeah, oh yeah. He's gonna say something. Well, uh, might not some parties, the opposing counsel, for example, see this differential and conclude that there may have been some solicitation involved. You SOB. Cliff, they heard the scuttlebutt before I crossed state lines. And is it any surprise that they want to speak with a guy who is there to show them they may have money coming their way? All right, Jimmy. I mean, he's lying. I just assume him, I want to see him squash Chuck. Chuck? We good to move on? Ha ha ha. Thank you. The price of excellence is eternal vigilance. Indeed. <laughs> Coordination, I believe that's where we left. <laughs> I love it. Sure. <clears throat> Considering the dimensions of these cases, taken together and individually. She's got to be careful though, man. Well, I think that Kim, no, she's not happy because she knows. So I'm going to pull back. All right, no more meet and greets at the uh, Sandpiper facilities. I'll find another way to proceed. Yeah, she, knows, she knows better. I'm trying to appease Kim. Hey, Kim, uh, where can I get a copy of that Niederman deposition? I'll go next to Niederman, Jimmy. You can have one of mine. Oh, uh, wow. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, no worries. 
Shoot, where'd I put that? Thanks, that's... Ah, poor girl. Trying to be helpful. I did my job. You didn't do a song and dance in the day room for the old timers? No. No. Not, not in the day room. <laughs> this matters. Well, here's what I think matters. 24 senior citizens now have representation. Before I went, they didn't even know they were getting ripped off. See, I have problems with this whole solicitation thing. How else are they supposed to know? Did you mean it? Sure. Absolutely. Oh. Kim, you said you didn't want to know. So what, you threw me a bone? No. Asshole. You know I believe in you. But then I made my beliefs known to them. And now everything you do reflects back on me. And that's why he needs to do it the right way. Yes. Do you understand? It's, it's, it's my word. It's my judgment. Yeah. It's my career. You and I both know you can do this job. But please, you just have to do it right. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kim. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you stick your neck out for someone. They should, you know, follow the goddamn rules. I know. Personally, I didn't see anything wrong with him getting, letting them know what Sam Popper was up to. I don't. Why don't you give his foot a squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> Seen that pig before? You remember when he uses that? He hangs it from the ceiling to distract oh, yeah, yeah, that guy yeah, in Breaking yeah, yeah, Bad. Yeah, on the door, on, over the. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. I didn't get much sleep. My head's. I'm sorry. You tell me it's none of my business, I'll drop it. I don't want you to worry. Not the worrying kind. Well, he is when it comes to them. Yes. First night, they were maybe a block or two over. They woke me up. There's no mistaking it. There was three of them. They were quick. Pop, 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 closer. It was like they were right outside the house. I'm staying here tonight. No, Mike, no. That's not no, necessary. I, it is not a problem. I'll take the couch. You don't tell Mike if you don't want him to do something. He's not like, what do you think he's going to do? She already knows basically what happened, uh, what he did to those two other cops, yeah. those dirty cops. What about Colorado Springs? Um, 283 residents, and we sent out 283 mailers. Yeah, and how many response cards came back? Zero. Zero? Are they even getting the, I'm, I don't even think they're giving the retirement people those letters. Yeah, we should be getting responses of like 12 to 15 percent, but we're getting ones and twos. In Colorado Springs, zero. Wow. How can that be? I'm thinking it's the staff. They're tossing the mailers before they can reach the residents. Yeah. Mm, you're right. If we could prove it, big if. And to do so would take more manpower than I can spare. For now, let's just stick with getting those client numbers up. I could take a road trip. TV commercial. Highly targeted. Let me tell you, at Sandpiper, the trains run on time. Mussolini would be proud. <laughs> um, TV? Yeah, he said TV commercials. Yes. We ran a commercial a few years back, another class action case. Now, it's not exactly my go-to, but generally speaking, I'm open to it. We will talk next week. Okay. That's legit. Yeah. I mean, it's good that he's working somewhere where they listen to him. Oh, yeah. He's a resourceful guy. If you or a family member have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or related conditions, you may be entitled to monetary damages. How many times have you seen that exact commercial? Too many. Remember, they worked real hard to get that just right. To get what just right? Uh, the, the swirl. That is way too boring for Jimmy. Missing the point. Cliff signed off on this? The partners were very happy. What do you think? I think whatever happened to showmanship. Well, we know what his idea of showmanship is. This happens to be very valuable. Yeah? What is it? This one is uh, the Alpine Shepherd Boy. It's for her nephew. So come. He remembered exactly what it was called and who it was for. Or from, rather. This stuff matters to him. We will improvise then. Stay with me. She's rocking. She's shivering. She's clutching. I love this. <laughs> so that's it? Old lady in the chair? Chair commercial. Does anybody like you? <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. It's cool getting to see like the behind the scenes of these commercials that he does. 
But I, I get where he's coming from with that one guy. It's like, hey, come on, where's your, you know. Ambition. Did you just, did you die yesterday? Yeah, she couldn't have a better person staking out her house. How many apples has he got? Hot pimento. Disgusting. Okay, most likely some people are gonna show up. This is Mike. I think he's gonna end up killing somebody. Or he may follow him out and then kill him. Either way, somebody's gonna get killed. Just a newspaper delivery guy. I need to make a compilation of all the times that you say someone's gonna die and then they don't. Well, my percentage would be much higher. If you were right, I agree. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, my buddy's tired as hell. That was an all-nighter. Hey, honey, what's happening? What's wrong? What happened? Oh, crap. He's gonna get fired if he keeps leaving. Let me show you. It's up, it's up there. You see it? Was it a raccoon? You don't see it, right? I, I see it. What time did you hear the shots? 2.13 this morning, I looked at the clock. No, Mike was there. That came from a bullet. I mean, it must have. It wasn't there before last night. I promise you that, and I don't know. Okay, okay. I think after everything with Maddie, you know. Yeah, I can understand her being shell-shocked. But, and she doesn't know Mike was out there the whole night. All right, that's it. We're getting you and Kaylee out of this house. End of story. Well, Mike's going to take on a few more jobs. She's obviously imagining this. I gotta say, I will miss the nail salon's vibrating chairs. Well, for you, I can make any chair in this place vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Law enforcement, shocker! The killer left behind a cryptogram and commercial. <laughs> Dang. This is gotta great. set the scene. Yeah, that's what he's doing. A nice place. They told me they'd take care of everything, but then one day they said all my money was gone. How could that be? Where did it all go? That's great. Davis and Maine at 505-242-7700. That's 505-242-7700. I really want to call that number. You made that? With some film students? I directed. It looks professional. <laughs> There you go. And if I were an 86-year-old Sandpiper resident, I'd be dialing. Yes. Yay. It's a lot more entertaining than a blue swirl and some text. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, back in Cam's good graces. Cliff Maine was fine with us. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? He, I, no, it's, it's fantastic. He hasn't told him yet. Why is he hesitating? Well, I, I so he made the, he made the commercial without consulting Cliff. Okay, I'll buy that. Omar, what's the cutoff for FedEx? I need to get a package out. Too sweet. Oh, uh, yes. Can you connect me to your ad sales department? He's gonna go ahead and do it. I'm not breaking legs. What else? We discussed this. You want next level pay? You gotta do next level work. I respect where you're coming from on this thing. I do. But that's just how it goes. The vet is so unassuming. I really like his character. I do too. And like I said, I, I think I would probably watch a whole show about this guy. For 200? Call you with the wear and the wind. That's not gonna get them out of that house. No, well, it's like you said, if you want next level pay, do next level work. So everybody knows that- They know. Every line starting with 7700 has been rerouted to the bullpen, plus your office. 
All the assistants know to keep them open. He seems kind of nervous. Yeah, he should be. It should be running now, right? Is there anything else? No. I just forgot to tell my boss. Why, Jimmy? Come on. The wedding is the hardest part on something like this. Just will it into existence. I've done it at a stoplight. Get it to turn green. Now, to get your case started, may I ask for a name and the number of one of our attorneys to reach you? It's working. It may be working too good. My gosh. Yes, ma'am. We'll be happy to send an information packet right out to you. May I ask, are you currently a resident of a Sam Piper Crossing facility? Wow. Super. Look, he knows old people. Yeah, he does. Great. I'm, I'm glad. What's the job? I asked. The guy wouldn't tell me. But whatever it is, it's serious money. And the guy, he specifically asked for you. Well, somebody who knows who Mike is. Uh, it's a pretty limited group of people. Does Rock Hudson run him into an iceberg? Is this before or after? Oh god, the timing on this. With the Titan sub that just happened. Oh yeah. Oof. Mm -mm. It's the boss. At this hour? Oh, it's never too late for congratulations. Oh, please, please don't do that. Cliff, Jesus, you're still at the office. You ran a commercial? Oh, crap, that didn't sound good. This commercial, I take it my firm's name is mentioned? Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Howard said you were a little eccentric. You didn't tell me you were a goddamn arsonist. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. He should have known this was going to happen. I know that kind of return on investment. You can't Tomorrow get... morning, 8 o'clock, my office, with the partners, and we want to see this thing. Cliff, when you see this... I know you. Oh, shoot. I, I'm, I hate that. Cliff just was really happy about Jimmy. Not so much now. Golden boy. That's me. <laughs> And he can't tell Kim. No, because again, she stuck her neck out for him. <clears throat> and here he is. I was afraid of this. Oh well. Okay. I don't know why, but I was thinking Nacho. And I don't know why I would be thinking that because he works for Tuco. Feeling cautious? You gonna tell me what we're doing here? Yeah. There's a guy. I need him to go away. That ought to bring in some money. Ah, man. There they go with the Breaking Bad endings. Yeah, no kidding. That's the kind of money he's going to need to get his daughter and his granddaughter out of that house. Yeah, I mean, if Nacho tells you that he needs somebody to go away, I, I don't think he's uh, talking about asking them politely to leave. No, I think he means dead. I he, he'll do it because this is his, this is for his family. He'll do it, Jimmy. I, I and this is why Jimmy would be better off at his own firm instead of taking liberties where he should not. I hate it that he just can't be open with Kim about everything because she stuck her neck out, Howard in turn stuck his neck out. So everything is suspect with Jimmy involved. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's proving that he can't be trusted. Yeah. Even if what he's doing works. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't you don't use somebody's name. That That's the law firm. That it, That's their bread and butter. And you made a commercial which could be misconstrued by the public. Well, misconstrued, but also you are, in a way, changing the image of the firm without their consent. And even though in this case, it's an excellent commercial, that's not the point. The point is he did it on his own without consulting the rest of the team. And I, you know, I, 
I don't know. I don't know how it would have gone if he had just shown it to them. I, I don't know if they would have approved it because I mean we've seen what their idea of a good commercial is. So I, I don't. I don't know if they would have. Well, the way I feel about it is this: Jimmy has got more of the razzle dazzle in him than the rest of the members do. Clearly, he also understands the elderly people or so on their level. Mm-hmm. It was it was a commercial that was targeted for them specifically. He did a great job, and I think they would have seen that. Yeah, way to go. Yeah. Maybe doesn't matter now. That yeah, that's. I mean, you're right. It doesn't matter how good the commercial is if you're not going to consult anybody. And Chuck's name came up in the conversation. The black cloud in Jimmy's life is going to stay there. What do you mean, Chuck's name came up? He said Chuck warned me about this. No, he said Howard. <laughs> He said, Howard said you were eccentric. I thought he said something about Chuck. Mm. Well, Howard's the one who recommended them. Chuck never would have talked to Davis and Maine about Jimmy. Okay, okay. So, Howard, never mind that, then. Yeah, we got to see a different side of Cliff. A very serious Cliff. And, and, I mean, look, I, I don't really blame him. They took a risk hiring Jimmy. But they've already seen the payoff at least twice already. But he still did something without the approval of the pack. You can't have a maverick on the team. You can have you can have somebody with some great ideas, but they've got to run it through the team. And if Jimmy wants to do stuff like that, he just needs to have his own firm. I, I just hate this. What a bird's nest on the ground that he has right now, if he just would have done it right. And uh, we saw him doing it the right way in the last episode when he went into Cliff's office and told him about the whatever the hell. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember what it was that he noticed, but it was important. And that might be the last time Cliff is impressed with him. Great episode. Frustrating episode. Oh, I know, I know. Thank all of y'all for watching with us. And if you would, please like, comment, and subscribe. We would appreciate it. And uh, we will see you guys in episode four. Yes. Goodbye.